Duffel Argon. It uh it arson is secondary. It shoots squares and make people go fucking blind. If you don't know, I play a lot of arsonists. And with that comes a favorite item from arsonists. If you ask me what that item would be, I would replace that as the dead player gun. This thing. I see a lot of people complaining about this because A, the detonator is easier to hit, B, the detonator can give him ability, C, the detonator has higher base damage, D, the detonator. If you tried using the flare gun for the first time, you'd probably have a result of hitting zero shots and being an over 100 to your team because you keep dying to that one flanker who's always targeting you. And I would admit that yeah, this isn't an easy weapon to learn. It takes some practice to get, get better at it. So if you ask me what the skill curve to this thing is, it will probably look something like this. Okay, maybe not that much. So before I start teaching you how to use it, have you ever used the Huntsman? Don't worry, I can assure you that this is very related to Flare Gun, I promise. The Huntsman is played a lot into helping me improving at flaring people. They're both a projectile, deals crits, and is used by classes that is complained about the most by the community. Now I'm not saying that you should use the Huntsman before using the Flare Gun. What I'm trying to convey is to have at least some experience with projectiles. If you didn't know, all projectiles in TC2 uses a hitscan hitbox except for rockets and pipe grenades. That's one of the reasons why it's such an ass to actually use the projectiles that is in this game. It's like bullets, but they're in an arc, and also have travel. I would say this wouldn't be too terrible for the people who've actually played Phantom Forces before. Flare gun travels relatively quickly, but remember that it's still a projectile, so you have to aim ahead of your target to be able to have a chance at hitting your flares in the first place. And if you get really good, you might be able to predict where the enemy will go and hit more difficult shots, and if you go above that, you're basically scheduled at that point. And remember to light your enemies on fire. I know, it's obvious, but if you want that sweet green text with this sound over it, you want to use this thing as intended, which is setting your target on fire and aiming it correctly to deal 90 damage at any range as long as you get your shot. Before I close off, I just want to say that the best way to improve with the flare gun is to, like, actually use the flare gun. The flare gun takes more patience than anything else to master, at least from my experience. Its hitbox is annoying as the katana, and I think that'll give a general understanding of how it actually feels to use the flare gun. But after you start using the flare gun solely, you're gonna improve, and in no time, you'll be hitting the sick frags.